evening sky should be clear tonight here in Miami. Major League Baseball on the show is next. On a humid night for baseball, MLB The Show welcomes you to the Sunshine State, Miami, Florida, the site for this edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, game one of this three-game series is set to get underway, as it'll be the Cincinnati Reds taking on the Florida Marlins. And hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian along with you. To my left is Dave Campbell. To my right, Eric Karros. And Soup, let's begin with you. What's something to keep our eyes on in this matchup? Well, the first thing I always do when I come to the ballpark is check out the pitching matchup, and we have a stellar one here. Both of these guys are capable of working deep into the ball game, so it's possible the team that knocks the other starter out first will come out victorious. Let's see if that plays itself out. All right, Dave, thanks, and we'll hear from Eric shortly, but first let's get to the starting lineup for the defending National League Central Division champion Cincinnati Reds, brought to us by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. They'll match up against a guy who twirled a no-hitter back in 2006, right-hander Anabel Sanchez. And in the field, the Marlins will align themselves like this. Bruce Stubbs, a move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get underway tonight. And a swing and a miss, so a first pitch strike as we're underway here this evening. Definitely over anxious to start the game. He'd benefit from looking at a pitch or two. First pitch, 7 o'clock. Strike two. Couple of low 90s fastballs to start the ball game. That's about where he'll be. And he misses there, one and two. Temperature here at the park tonight, a comfy 72 degrees at first pitch. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Here's the two and two offering. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Yeah. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. And now on three and two, let's see if he gets a fastball here. Now the three and two pitch. And he lays off ball four. That's exactly what you want your leadoff man to do. Work the count and get on base. Now he's got to take a deep breath out there on the mound right now. I mean, not only will he kick himself for walking the leadoff guy, but also he just walked the fastest guy in the building. I mean, that's definitely not what he wanted to do out there. Scott Rowland will be the batter. No 
low swing, apparently. Ball one. Sign of a smart hitter right there. Stubbs holding. Here's the pitch. Fouled back. Swung on and a fair ball rolled weakly up the line at first. And the throw to first is in time. One gone. Ball not hit all that well, so they get the sure out at first. Joey Votto will stand in now in an early RBI spot in the top of the first. Yeah. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. Oof. You don't see him take that pitch too often. Now a half swing here on the pitch inside, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the home plate umpire. Strike two. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit. One and two. And that's a good two strike pitch there, as now it might be just to set up something away. One out and a runner on second base. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. Uh, you don't want guys to get too comfortable up there, so that's a good idea to run something in tight. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. We're not even five minutes into this game, and already we've got a big battle here at the plate. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Pickoff move to second, and he just manages to get his hand in. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with only one away. Two walks already here in the first. It hasn't hurt him yet, but at this rate, it won't be long until it does. So two men are on with one man out. And stepping in the dangerous left-handed hitter, Jay Bruce. And this is swung on and bounced on the ground to third. Infante for one. On to first, and he really paid the price at second base, but it's a double play, and the inning is over. So it's no runs on no hits. One error, and a runner left stranded. Now the Marlins will see what they can do. No score. Starting lineup for the Marlins looks like this. Again, courtesy of State Farm. And getting his final warm-up tosses in, the starter who they'll be up against, as you see his totals there on the right side of your screen. And defensively, you see the Reds line up like this behind him.
Hanley Ramirez will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. Swing and heads up as he had to hit the deck for dear life that time. Outside for a ball, one and one. And this is low, ball two, two and one. And Ramirez will just try and work his way aboard here. It's three and one. And this is where he's dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can also take you deep. Swing and a hard grounder down the line at third. And under the glove of Roland, a fair ball. And this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. And he is into second base with a leadoff double. And a great start here to the bottom of the first as the leadoff double has him in excellent shape to try and push across the first run of the evening. Chris Coglin will take his first cuts now. 0 for 4 in the ballgame back on Sunday. First offering on the way in there and it's 0 and 1. And as a number two hitter, you got to get that guy to third so the three, four, and five guys can get him home and get you the lead. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. And, and now the name of the game is put the ball in play. You cannot have a strikeout here. No one out with a runner at second. And now the runner's trying for third. Now a swing and a ground ball. And that's through into left, a base hit. And the opening salvo is fired here as they take a one to nothing lead. Came right back with a fastball, but this time he was on it as he stays with it and drives in the run. Gabby Sanchez will stride in. He was one for three in the ballgame back on Sunday. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. Renteria for one. On Devato, a double play. Oh, 
Michael Stanton will be the batter. Michael Stanton. And he lays off there 1-0. And if you miss, you want to miss inside. Don't make a mistake belt high out over the plate. Now the 1-0 pitch. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside one and one. And pretty obvious that he didn't care for that call too much. You can see the look of disgust there. And this is going to be fouled into the diamond level seat. Oh, don't know how you lay off that one, but he did, and it's two and two. Boy, and this is the wrong guy to keep missing with up in the zone. Those are two dangerous locations there. And this is fouled straight back. And this one's hit on the ground, but foul. Another 2-2 offering. Now here's another pitch fouled off and heading for the seats. And he's just fighting to stay alive here. Still 2-2. Two and two. On the eighth pitch of the at-bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Marlins get one here on a couple of hits. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. The Marlins lead it one to nothing. Brandon Phillips will stride in now. Two for five in the series finale on Sunday. First pitch on the way. Ball one. He has to back away there and then give a little glare out to the mound. It's ball two. Mm, he did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. Two zero on the way. In there, two and one. Ah, boy, when you're a middle of the lineup guy and you get a good one to hit 2 and 0, oh, you got to turn it loose. Now a fastball as this is hit fairly well out toward left center. There to take it in is Morrison, and that's out number one. Batting 
So one away now as that brings up the catcher, Ramon Hernandez. First pitch coming. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. Oh. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a rocket to third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him, a base hit. And this is the kind of veteran player you love to have on your ball club. Not going to hit 40 home runs or hit 360, but he will give you solid production, good defense, good leadership in the clubhouse. He delivers a base hit here. Johnny Gomes steps in now. And they start him with one high and away for ball one. Ball two now. And let's see if he makes him throw a strike here. Hey. Gets the call on the changeup there, two and one. I had a good off-speed pitch there and a fastball count. Now a fastball for a strike, and from 2-0, and oh, it's back to 2-2. Two and two. That would have been a good one to offer at there. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. Uh, and this is where the scouting report really pays off. I mean, sometimes you just got to go looking for a soft spot in the guy's zone, and, and they found one there. And so now that'll bring in a guy whose base hit won a World Series here in South Florida, Edgar Renteria. Now a fastball. Look out as he has to duck out of harm's way there. Huh. That's what you call getting in tight with the fastball. Two out with the man at first. The 1 0 home to Renteria. And that's inside and a bit low, anyways. It's 2 0. And you've got the pitcher on deck, so if you lose this guy, it's okay.
ball three as he misses low with it here. And you're close to putting yourself in a position where you'd have to face the pitcher, and that impacts the next inning. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Uh, not a real good sign here. Already his third walk of the ball game this early on. And that's a sign to me may not have brought his A game to the ballpark. He's had to work awfully hard out there so far. Mike Leak will dig in here. First pitch coming now from Sanchez. And he gets ahead 0-1. And, and after the two-out walk, now is where you really need to make these guys pay. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Well, no taking now. He's going to have to swing the bat. And this is swung on and grounded to Ramirez at short. And he'll go the short way to retire the side. No runs, a hit, two left. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Marlins one and the Reds nothing. Omar Infante will take his first cuts of the ball game here. In there for strike one, 0 oh and one. Now a fastball that's taken close that time, but it's one and one. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. <laughs> Trying to bunt his way aboard, but this will get foul. Swing and a shot towards second. Phillips throws to first, and that's out number one. And here's where it helps to have your good hands people in the middle of the diamond to handle hot shots like that. Those one hoppers can sometimes have a tendency to skip on you, but he stayed right with that one nicely. So one gone now, and here's Logan Morrison, the left fielder. First pitch coming. And he takes ball one. Oh 
And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. The pitch. Swing and a ball pulled into right. Bruce is there, two down. The minute he hits that, he, he's thinking it's a base hit all the way, but this is one of those situations where you, know, you get penalized for hitting the ball too hard. And this stayed up long enough to find the outfielder's glove out there. John Baker will get his first cuts here. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Uh, and even when you think a guy is going to be taking that first pitch, you don't just want to lay that fastball in there letter high. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. And down 0-2, what do you look for now? Another off-speed pitch? And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Nothing doing here this half. We play two full. The Marlins lead this one one to nothing. Drew Stubbs will get a second shot now. He worked out a walk to open the ball game. First pitch coming now from Sanchez. And good movement on the fastball there from Sanchez as he jumps ahead with strike one. And that misses one and one. And he has not been all that efficient with his pitches through the first two innings. He'll need to step it up a bit here in inning number three. Sanchez readying the one and one. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. Throw to first in time and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So one gun in the inning now for Scott Rowland. In there for strike one. Now a swing and a miss there as Roland's deficit moves to 0-2. Yeah, and both these pitches have been strikes, but neither's been in a spot he can drive. Lined up the middle, and that'll get down for a base hit.
Yeah, you know, it looked like they came back at him with another slider. But after swinging and missing that last one, he makes a better adjustment that time and drives it for a base hit. Joey Votto will dig in, drew a walk his first time around. Now the first pitch. And hmm, a fairly generous strike call there on a pitch that looked off the plate at strike one. Yeah, a, a great sell job behind the plate, too. He sort of gently moved that glove back over an inch or two as he was catching that baseball. And Votto's able to lay off that one as the count turns even to one and one. And he's probably saying, you're not going to call that one a strike also, are you? And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Joey Votto, a two-run shot. Number 23 for him thus far, and the Reds now take a two-to-one lead. Kind of a gift in location, and this is the wrong guy to be given gifts to. I mean, you see the location on show track? Way too much of the plate there. You're not gonna get away with that too many times, that, that's for sure. Jay Bruce will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And here's the first pitch. And that's by him. It's 0-1. And we've all seen guys lose their composure after giving up a two-run homer, but he cannot let that happen. One out, nobody on. a fastball that looked pretty good but it's one and one and I know they don't want to flirt with another one up in the zone here now the pitch and he takes one off the inside corner for ball two Lined into left center. And that's into the alley for Bruce. Should be extra bases. And now this will rattle up against the fence. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. And now time will be called here as you see the pitching coach making his way out to the mound to pay a quick visit. Brandon Phillips will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the first offering. Right down Broadway that time. Strike one. And he's looking for RBI number 43 on the year if he can cash in. Mm -hmm. 
And this is swung on and pretty well hit. Out to deep left center field. And see you later. That one is gone. A two-run home run for Brandon Phillips. Number 11 for him on the season as the Reds have opened up a 4-1 to lead. Well, they're starting to make it look awfully easy out there. When he gets a pitch he can handle, this becomes their second home run here in the inning. So they're starting to get some pretty good swings against him now. Ramon Hernandez will stand in. A base hit his first time around. Pulls the string on that one, one strike. And now, even with four runs in against you here in the inning, you gotta just wipe the slate clean and just take the approach that you're starting over out there. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Wow, and you can bet he was saving that pitch. Good job to lay off. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, he certainly needed that one. Anything to get through this inning, and he's finally an out away now from doing so. Johnny Gomes will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Here's the first offering. In there, 0 and 1. Fouled straight back. Good eye there from Gomes as the count goes to one and two. And now on one and two, this might be a spot where that high fastball was just a setup so that he can come back with that big curve. Now a slider hit pretty well, but he might have got under it just a bit as this is out toward deep center. Coughlin is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Reds lead it 4-1. to one. Wes Helms will stand in for the first time here. Swing and a ball 
hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Now here's the pitch. And here's a ball in the air now carrying a bit out toward right center. And this is taken in out there by Bruce for the first out. Yeah, it took him a few batters to get it going in the first, but after that first inning run, he's come back to retire the next six in a row. Anibal Sanchez will stand in. Now the first pitch. Now this is swung on, and here's another fly ball out to right field. Bruce has a long run, but he takes charge for route number two. Hanley Ramirez you get a second shot at it now. He doubled to start out the home first. Here's the first pitch to him. And the first pitch here is pulled on the ground to third. There to get it is Roland. Yet a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Four pitches, all it takes to do in the Marlins. They trail it four to one. Edgar Renteria will step in now. Edgar Renteria. One. And these guys have been very patient with that slider away. They have not chased very often. And this is swung on and bounced up the center of the diamond. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Leadoff man on again here, and after they hung a four spot on him last time around, that's an ominous sign. Mike Leak will stand in in what would appear to be a sacrifice situation here. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Took something off there as this pitch is in the dirt, but handled quickly behind the plate. Lays off the fastball low, and it goes to two balls and a strike. And that's been part of his problem so far, not being able to locate that fastball when he's needed to. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. And I don't care how good a hitter this guy is, you cannot afford to work around a pitcher here. Come on, now. Grounded foul. And it misses ball four. And he's just committed the cardinal sin there, Dave, of walking the opposing pitcher. 
Well, he's been able to keep these guys off the scoreboard to this point, so this may be nothing more than a blip on the radar screen. But now he's got two base runners to deal with out there, so they could be on the verge of a breakthrough here against him. Here comes Marlins manager Edwin Rodriguez now on his way to the mound. And it appears that'll be all for Anibal Sanchez. So as he leaves, I would imagine these fans would not be much pleased with his performance here this evening as he certainly was not sharp. Chris Volstaff is going to come on and make an appearance here, though I suspect even he couldn't have predicted he'd be taking over in just the fourth inning. Drew Stubbs will step in, a ground out victim his last time. Breaking ball that's cut on and missed for the first strike. And these guys are going to need this bullpen to chew up some serious innings. Swing and a high chopper. Throw on to first, in time, one away. Oh, and this is frustrating for a hitter to get put out like that. You're just saying, come on, get foul, rats. So it's second and third with one gone now, and here comes Roland. Gracious, where did that pitch miss? It's called ball one. Yeah, and I think the home plate umpire just flat missed that one. And 2-0 and as this one's taken low. And with the base open here on 2-0, and he better not groove one. The 2-0 is a fastball high, and it's 3-0. and Now, you got the big thunder coming next, so you do not want to lose this guy. Three 0 pitch. That's in there, 3-1. Hmm, maybe they'll give him something after all. with it ball four so that'll load the bases and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball yeah no doubt they were going to put him on there now we'll see if they want to pull the infield in with one out and try to get that home to first double play Joey Votto will try again after hitting that two run homer his last time around And that's cut on and missed 0-1. And the good news is they have the bases loaded, but the bad news is this guy is a definite double play candidate. ball and he's quickly in the hole 0-2. And, and now with two strikes he won't worry about trying to get a ground ball. 
he will definitely be gunning for the strikeout. Four to one our score as we play inning number four. And here's a fastball on 0-2, but it misses 1-2 and two now. Three. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Boy, you got to believe he's counting his lucky stars out there on the mound. He's facing one of the best run producers in the game with the bases loaded, and he's able to retire him. And he's still not off the hook yet, but at least that'll earn him a big exhale out there. Now here's the first pitch. Jay Bruce is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. And this is a spot where you got a chance to put away a team early. So this becomes a very important at bat for both teams. Four runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. He's set, now the pitch. Now a ball hit high and deep, heading toward the corner and left. And it in fact lands in the corner, foul. And he won't offer it that. Too high. One and two. And a lot of times, this is where he likes to elevate that fastball and try to get guys to chase. Four runs, six hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. If you're going to try to get that guy to fish for a curveball down there, you better make sure you can keep it in front of you. And this ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Now a big swing by Bruce as he lifts this one high in the air to deep right field. And that is gone! Grand Salami! So he will touch them all on the Grand Slam and even 20 home runs for him now thus far as this is now a seven-run ball game. Well, things are just going from bad to worse on the mound here as he pretty much lays this one in with the bases loaded. And that deficit just got a lot bigger. Brandon Phillips will try again after hitting that two-run homer his last time around. Now a fastball that couldn't quite find the zone. It's ball one. And this will find the seats behind the first base dugout. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Four runs here in this half inning. Now a ball hit hard towards center. But this won't get by the shortstop as he's there to take it in for the third out. But the damage certainly done as the Reds get on the board on this grand slam.
Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Reds eight and the Marlins one. It's Tuesday night baseball on the show as you take a look at our National League scoreboard. And here on the East Coast, of course, some of these games will be getting underway later on. Chris Coglin will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Go, and he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Yeah, with all the runs we've seen so far, it is hard to believe it's still only the bottom of the fourth. Pitch on the way. Reaches for one and slaps it down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0-2 now. Now a ball swung on and taken the opposite way out toward fairly deep left center. Gomes will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first out. And you just get the sense that he's got it on cruise control out there now. Make it nine in a row he's set down. Now batting. So one away in the inning now, and that'll bring in the first baseman, Gabby Sanchez. First offering on the way. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. and oh. And right now, boy, you're looking for any kind of base runner. Something to get this guy out of the groove he's been in. And now another pitch taken by Sanchez as he's got it to 2-0 now. And there's ball three. Still no walks for him here tonight, but on 3-0, he's looking one right in the face here. Now ball hit foul down the line and right and in amongst the fans. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. And close here, but no motion from Max Stafford. It's ball four. And let's check out the whole sequence here on show track. You'll see him fall behind quickly here, three and oh. Then come a couple of foul balls, at least one of which was out of the zone. Then he finally just wears down out there and winds up issuing the six-pitch walk. Michael Stanton will dig in. 0 for 1 here in this one. And he 
It goes the other way with the fastball as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. And Bruce has got this one two away now. Boy, and you'll take a first pitch out against this guy any day of the week. And that runner has to stay put at first base. Omar Infante will step in. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Set up away with the changeup, but it's one and one. strike on the outside corner is that zone seems to widen some it's one and two and when things are going bad it seems like these calls always go against you grounded foul still two strikes Fouled back. Three. And a half-hearted swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike, and the inning is over. One left for Florida. It's still an eight-to-one ball game. Ramon Hernandez will dig in one for two thus far. And a fastball's in there for strike one. And sometimes when you haven't seen a guy, you might want to take a pitch to gauge him. But he let a pretty good one go by there. This is high, a ball and a strike. Changeup that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far. Now a ball hit pretty well to the left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Well, if he's got the confidence to throw it two and two, let's see if he throws it three and two.
And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Now he's not going to earn himself any points with this performance out of the bullpen so far. The control just hasn't been there. And, you know, that's mission number one for a reliever. Johnny Gomes will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Sometimes you just let a guy work his own way into trouble and then take advantage. The 1 0 pitch. Yeah. Called strike at the knees. Evens the count at 1 and 1. And a changeup has him fooled there as this is lifted in the air out to left center and shallow. Morrison comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. And I would imagine he was really geared for the fastball there, but he got something off speed, so he was out on his front foot a bit and took this to his pull field for an easy fly out. Edgar Renteria will dig in. He singled and later scored his last time. Now a swing and a soft liner. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. The second for one and it's right over his head. <laughs> this looked to be a sure double play ball, but look at the throw here. Whoop! <laughs> right over his head at second base. That's a costly one. Mike Leak digs in at the plate. Swung on and missed for the first strike. And he does have six RBIs for a pitcher, so at least he's a threat to do something here with the bat. From the stretch. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0-2. Oh, and one thing you just can't have here at the plate is a strikeout. Runners are at second and third with one down. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. And the way this pitching staff has worked so far, he's been more like a goalie than a catcher behind the plate. As a look, now the pitch. Three. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. Now he was really late on this one. I mean, really late. You can see where the baseball is by the time he gets the barrel through. I mean, it's darn near in the catcher's glove already. That tells me he was probably looking for something else. Bruce Stubbs will step in now, 0 for 2 to this point. And 
And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Ah, and with two outs, you want to make sure those guys earn that run. No, don't let him score on a wild pitch. And he takes a cold strike, too. And now a chance for him to get out of this despite his defense letting him down. Hit hard back up the middle. That's in there. Base hit. A run is in. Everybody's getting into the act now. He had been held out of the RBI column to that point, but no longer as they continue to pour it on. Scott Rowland will dig in one for two to this point in the ball game. Now a ball hit hard towards the hole, and this is going to be a base hit for Rowland. The throw to third. And he is in there at third safely, so there are runners at the corners with two away. And if I were him, this might not be a bad time to cancel the morning paper for tomorrow. I don't think the hometown writers are going to have a whole lot of flattering things to say about this performance. Joey Votto will dig in. One for two, including a home run thus far. First pitch on the way. And that's dead center for strike one. And this is something we have not seen. He needs to attack a little harder here early in the count. And he might have another one as this is hit high and deep out to left. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And at some point, these guys have got to be saying, hey, save a few of these for tomorrow. Nevertheless, they add on another run here to move this game even further out of sight. Jay Bruce will dig in. Two for three with a home run and a double. First pitch coming. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And he takes strike two. And they've certainly got the right guy at the plate here. He's got four RBIs for the ball game and looking to add on right here. Look out as he has to hop out of the way of the fastball there. And even on 0-2, you don't want guys to get into a comfort level up there. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. So three runs on three hits, one error, and two men left stranded. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Reds are on top, 11 to one. Logan Morrison 
will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Fastball in there for a called strike. Yeah, with all the runs, it feels like we've been here forever, but it's only the bottom of the fifth. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here. Shooting for that low inside corner, but he missed with it. One and two. Now here's the pitch. Ball two. Uh, he, he's hoping to just run that heater by him. So he's ramped up the velocity here in the last two pitches. This ball is also hit foul and heading for the seat, so we'll have to do it again. Still two and two. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground towards short. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. And sometimes this is all you have to do. Throw a ton of strikes and keep the ball in the yard. It's worked for him so far. John Baker will dig in. 0 for 1 in the ballgame. This is heading out toward left field, but this is going to get fouled up into the crowd. Bases are empty, one man out. And a fastball that's taken the other way toward left center and fairly deep. There to take this one in is Stubbs, and that becomes out number two. Wes Helms will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. One and one. And that's what that four-seamer will do. It has a tendency to really rise at the end. Change up. Good pitch there. One and two. And he's really found that changeup here in the middle innings. Here's the pitch. 
And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is over. One, two, three go the Marlins. They trail by double digits, 11 to one. Burke Badenhop will come on now to try and sort this mess out as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. Brandon Phillips will stride in, but first we take you back to the third as you take another look here at his two-run homer that had him rolling early on. Marlins have some action in the bullpen now as a right-hander is up and throwing. Now here's a swing and a ground ball back up the box. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Well, this will wake you up a little bit out there on the mound. I tell you, pitchers hate it when a ball comes back at them that quickly, but that's a nice play right there. Ramon Hernandez will step in, one for two in the ball game. Righty against righty as this is taken for a ball. It's 1-0. And this one misses as well. 2-0 now to Ramon. And this is poured in at the letters. Two and one now. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. So it's a full count, three and two. Johnny Gomes is on deck. The three two pitch. And a tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off. Swing and a liner. But that's a foul ball. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. And that sinker away has always been his bread and butter pitch. You can see where this is on show track. You just can't ask for a better location than that. Johnny Gomes will try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. Yeah. 
And here's a fastball that he takes the other way onto fairly deep right. And Stanton will put this one away, and the inning is over. Reds are down in order, but they're on autopilot 11 to 1. Ronnie Belliard is going to come off the bench as he'll be asked to lead off the bottom of inning number six. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and And here's a spot off the bench where all you want to do is just to try to get something started. Two and 2-0. Oh. Well, here's where that old phrase, a walk is as good as a hit, really applies. Just get on somehow. The 2 0. -oh. Ball three. Uh, and all of a sudden, he's looking a little jittery out there to start the sixth. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. When you're down by a handful of runs, a leadoff walk is a definite blessing. I mean, if nothing else, it's a good first step towards trying to get back in this ball game. Hanley Ramirez will stand in. He's one for two so far. Curveball just misses, apparently, 1-0. And this guy's double earlier in the ballgame has been their only extra base hit so far. Ball two. A little shaky here to begin this inning. We haven't seen him in too many pressure situations thus far. A runner at first with no outs here. Lays off a fastball, but it's over for a strike. Two and one. And he has consistently hit that spot so far, unlike his counterpart, who could not seem to locate his pitches. Swing and a line drive to center field. And now he has some trouble with it in center. Now this gets all the way to the wall. Around third and being waved on home. The relay. And Ramirez is in at third base with a triple. A second knock of the ball game for him. And this one's an RBI triple. 
And they're in good shape to add on another run here with still nobody out in the inning. Chris Coughlin will stand in. He flew out his last time up. The fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Stubbs is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. And that's going to be a sack fly and an RBI as he scores from third. Well, at this point, all you can really do is hope to chip away at this lead and hope that your pitchers can keep you in the ballgame. Good job there to get this one out deep enough to drive in the run. Gabby Sanchez will stand in base on balls his last time. Swing hard liner to left center. And Sanchez is aboard a base hit. And the hits just keep a coming. 15 games in a row now in which he has hit safely. Michael Stanton will dig in. 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. First pitch to him. And this is taken outside for ball one. This is fouled straight back. And this is taken for a ball. Looked pretty good, but it's two and one now. And he needs to get back to what he was doing earlier in the game, which was getting ahead of guys and throwing a lot of strikes. Now a swing and a ball pulled down the line to third. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Going a little more with the breaking ball here as he goes along. We didn't see it as much the first few times through. Finally got him to lunge at one there as this is popped high in the air over toward the left side of the infield. And there to take it in is Roland for route number two. Good pitch there as he threw the fastball to get the pop up. And you see there what his pitch breakdown has been so far.
Omar Infante will dig in now, hitless in his two at-bats so far. This is fouled off to the left. No, that's a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here, 0 and 2. And if he can get through this inning, I have a feeling they'd be happy to take the six strong and leave it at that. Slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on two hits, no errors, and a runner left. We're through six full. Reds out in front, 11 to 3. Time for another look at the scoreboard tonight, as this time we check the action in the American League. Jan Mourinhoz will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Edgar Renteria will lead it off here in the top of inning number seven. Now a swing, but not much behind it as this is lifted into shallow center. Coglin is there to put this one away, and it takes just one pitch to record the first out of the seventh. Mike Leak will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. And now the Marlins bullpen will swing into action as a lefty and a right-hander start to get loose. Now the first pitch. Right-hander against right-hander as this is a ball 1-0. And they leave the starter out here to hit in the seventh, so apparently he will return to pitch the bottom half. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and well, This guy can hit a little bit, so don't just lay it in there, 2-0. and Here comes the 2-0. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's 3-1. and one. When you're already down by a bunch, this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and start throwing some strikes. Swung on and missed three and two. And he's going to need to crank that swing up another notch if he's going to catch up to those. Three 
Three. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Yeah, and even though that'll go in the books as just a strikeout, it was an expensive one in terms of pitches. And that's what you love to see, your pitcher really battling him up there. Bruce Stubbs steps in now. A swing and an easy ground ball to first. And Gabby will take this one himself, and the inning is over. We'll see Logan Morrison start things off when we come back. And it's not going to help him. It's 11 to 3. And there is Logan Morrison. He'll try and do what he can to work toward cutting into this big deficit. Lays off 1-0. and oh. Yeah, it looks like they're going to try to milk one more inning out of him on the mound. Swing and a liner. But this is a foul ball. Pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike two. Misses, ball two. Yeah, it looked like he was a little early on his release point there. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. And they obviously think he'll chase a fastball with two strikes because they keep going to it. And here's a ball rolled foul. Still two strikes. And he just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. The 3 2 one more time. Donnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Well, as we take a look at the pitches by inning, that last one puts him at 91. So stamina will start to become a real factor here the further he goes along. John Baker will dig in 0 for 2 thus far. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. And, and even though he's been sharp on the mound, I'm guessing he may need some help from that bullpen before this one's said and done.
Now here it comes. And he missed with it. It's one and two. A good high fastball. Maybe something to try and change the eye level there. Now I might anticipate another slider down in the zone. Maybe even in the dirt. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. And he's done a good job of getting ahead of the hitters, but that's when he starts nibbling. So that's why his pitch count is so high. Two two pitch on the way. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Fly ball here and a routine chance for Stubbs out in center. And that's out number two. Wes Helms will stand in 0 for 2 thus far. Now a broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. But a foul ball here, 0-1. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. Hit high but foul as that'll get in amongst the fans. And he can't put him away on 0-2 as this is lined back into center field for a base hit. And when you're losing big like this, this is really all you can do. Just try to take a good approach at the plate and hope that those behind you will follow. Jose Guillen will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number six, Jose Guillen. Too low, one and oh. And he's not doing him any favors here by putting him in to face a right-handed pitcher. A runner on first with two away. Here's the 1-0. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. And you can tell... He's starting to get a little jumpy out there. He's got to take his time and really focus in on the glove. Two and one now. A 2-1 offering. Now a ball hit sharply down the line at third. And past the diving infielder, that's a base hit. And it bounces around down there now. Matt, that's just good hitting coming off the bench. Trust me, it's hard to suddenly jump into a game like that, but he comes through with extra bases. Hanley Ramirez will stand in. He tripled home a run his last time.
First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Hmm, maybe they'll pitch to him after all. He's ready now, the pitch. And that's in there as well, 0-2 now. God, he's really got him backed into a corner right now. And Ramirez is able to hold off on that one, but he still trails in the count. It's one and two. He waits. Now the pitch. Fouled back. Swung on and a fair ball rolled weakly up the line at first. On to the bag with it himself is Vato, and the inning is over. This one pretty well in the bag. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. Reds lead this one 11-3. Randy Choate will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Scott Rowland will dig in, looking for hit number three in the ballgame. Here's a fastball called for strike one. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And the throw sails right over the head of Sanchez. Great job to get to the ball, but as you see, he's going to get rid of it in a hurry in the off-balance throw. Can't find the target. Joey Votto will dig in. He homered back in inning number three. Hard hit towards center. And Votto reaches. He's got a base hit. Throw comes back in quickly, so they're at first and second now with nobody out. And I'll tell you, here's a guy that's starting to bring himself into the MVP discussion. I mean, the numbers are there, and he's been about as consistent as anyone in baseball, and he's got another sharp single right here. Jay Bruce. We'll stand in yet again, and if you weren't with us earlier, let's take another look. This was back in the fourth inning with the bases loaded. A grand slam and definitely the big blow of the ballgame so far. Now a swing and a bouncing ball toward the hole. Helms has got it. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. Uh, this is one of those plays where if he doesn't get a glove on it, 
That's a run. This will be an infield single, but that's a great play to hold that runner at third. Brandon Phillips will look to keep pouring it on as he stands in with the bases loaded. hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. Coughlin is there, and that should be deep enough to score the run. But he's safe at third as he's able to scramble back. A little insurance never hurts as this run comes in to score on the sacrifice fly as they just continue to tack on runs here. So one away here in the Reds' half of the eighth, and standing in is the veteran backstop Ramon Hernandez. Fouled straight back. And here's a fastball called for strike two. Okay, now with two strikes, you can put aside the thought of the double play ball and really go after the strikeout. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this is fouled back and out of play. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. He'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Ready with another 0-2. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. And he's obviously not trying to hit him there. He just let that one get away from him. Now this is on the ground to first. We'll see if they can get two. Ramirez back to first, but it's right over his head. Well, that'll keep the inning alive here. And anytime you start giving away outs, it puts a real strain on your pitching staff. Johnny Gomes will try and erase his 0 for, 0 for 4 in the ball game. Here's the first pitch. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. And that one seemed to me, folks, like that might have been a time to get out of here call. And he lays off for ball one. Yeah, almost the same pitch, but this one was a few more inches inside, so he doesn't get that call.
Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Mm, right down the chute that time. One and two. Well, now he's got a good chance to minimize the damage if he can get this guy. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. So it's two runs on two hits, two errors in the inning, and one man left on base. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. The Reds lead it 13-3. Chris Coughlin will stand in. He drove in a run with a sack fly his last time. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And with the route on, it's very surprising that they'd let him come back out to work the eighth. Now it's 2-0. Yeah, and once you see a guy three or four times in a game, it's easy to see patterns in how they pitch you. Now the 2-0. Ball three, three and oh. And it goes without saying, but this has to be in the strike zone. You don't want him on base to start off the inning. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. that time on the corner three and two now and this would be a big comeback down three and off oh, he could get another strike here change up cold strike three as he rolls his eyes at the call one away well, it's going to be tough to find any kind of silver lining in a drubbing like this, but about the only good news is at least you'll come back and try again tomorrow. It's not like football where you have to wait a full week. They'll be right back at it within 24 hours. Gabby Sanchez will dig in now. One for two to this point. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. And now looking around this place, I think these fans have just about given up hope in this one. talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt that's low but called a strike anyway nothing in two now and I think he just turned and said are you kidding me one out nobody on and this is pulled fouled as he was way out in front there
And wow, tough to lay off the fastball there, but it's one and two. Now the pitch. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. That thing's moving pretty good at the end. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Well, I think the sound you hear right now might be that train whistle pulling into the station for the final time. Look, he's given his all out there, but you start to get the sense that this guy may have reached the end of the line. Michael Stanton will try again. 0 for 3 with a strikeout thus far. Here's the first offering. Went about halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. And now we've got a pitcher that's near the end and a power hitter that feasts on mistakes. This often bodes trouble. Oh, he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And that is over the wall. Home run. So a two-run shot to left center. Home run number 16 for him on the year as it's now down to an eight-run ball game. Well, you're only going to keep a guy like this down for just so long. He'd been held in check to this point, but he took a few frustrations out on that swing. And here comes Dusty out toward home plate as it looks like we're going to see a double switch here. Omar Infante will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. inside but that's ruled a strike nothing in one yeah nice to get that call right out of the bullpen and a fastball mm, just misses it's one and one 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 pitch swung on and pulled down the line to third. Throw in the dirt, but a good job of staying with it that time as he's retired.
Logan Morrison will be the batter. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball, 1-0. and oh. A little over-anxious that time as it's a ball and a strike. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Two and two. Fastball is outside, and it's full now, three and two. Big swing there as it's hit pretty well out toward deep left field. And Hermida will make the catch, and the side is retired. So two runs on one hit, and the one hit was a big one, the home run. We played eight full. The Reds are on top, 13-5. to five. Time for one last look at our National League scoreboard to see what's happening elsewhere. Cincinnati. Edgar Renteria will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the ninth. Ninth inning underway as the first pitch misses for ball one. Not quite reaching 90 with the fastball, but it's one and one now. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Fastball is looked at for strike two.
Now the 2-2 pitch. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Fouled back. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. There you see, seven, eight, and nine do up in the bottom half of the ninth, so they'll certainly have their work cut out for them as they try to get back in this one. Jeremy Hermida will get his first shot at it here. First pitch coming. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. Back-to-back -back tough pitches, and he's down 0-2 now. Try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. And this is grounded foul down the line, so he'll tee it up again. Fastball at the letters, and he turns on it, hits it high and deep out to center field. Coglin there to grab it as that becomes out number two. And the way balls have been flying out of here, every time a fly ball's hit, you think it might go the distance. But this one stays up long enough for him to put it away out there. Bruce Stubbs will stride in, grounded out his last time through. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and oh. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Had him on his front foot as this is chopped Watch foul that. to the left. Just did get a piece of that one, so he stays alive here.
He'll try again, one, two. And this is hit well towards the hole. And that is through into left field, a base hit. Let's take a look at all five pitches in this at bat. He tries to tempt him here on the first one, but he does a good job of holding back. Then they come right back and even the count at one and one. And we'll foul off these next two pitches. Here's the first, there's the second, and on the fifth pitch, finally gets the one he wanted and he drives it for a base hit. Scott Rowland will stand in. Scott Rowland. From the belt, the pitch. Fastball bounces up to the plate, and it's taken for a ball. Whoa, he is definitely getting a good workout behind the plate. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. And that will fall in front of Stanton. It's a base hit. The relay throw. And they won't get him at third. They're runners at the corners here with two gone. And now an inning that was left for dead has a little life to it after all. The runner on first doesn't hesitate, rounding second. So now back-to-back -back hits have quickly given them runners at the corners now with two away. Joey Votto will dig in, needing to come up with a three-bagger to complete the cycle. And he'll throw over to first. A dive, but he's back. In there, no balls and a strike. one is this one's in on the hands well that's a pretty good spot to try and lock him up inside but you know he can turn on that location if that's out over the plate now a throw over and the runner back safely Two and one. Yeah. And a two one slider is looked at for a called strike two. Mm. Hard to believe he let that one go. I mean, that was right on a platter for him. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. And with the count full now, the runner on first should be off with a pitch here. Tough pitch on two strikes as he's able to foul it off.
Now a throw over to first, and he'll dive back in. And again a throw, and a dive, but he's back in. just does manage to fight this one off as it's fouled away. He'll try it again, three and two. And close here, but no motion from Max Stafford. It's ball four. Ah, what an at bat there. He took him as far as he could go, and now the bases are loaded here, and we'll start this process all over again. Edward Mojica will come on now in a mop-up role as he'll just try and keep this deficit from growing any larger. Jay Bruce will try again, working on a good ball game, three for five thus far. Now the first pitch. And that misses ball one. Chance for a six RBI game if he can come through with a base hit here. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. Let's get out of this inning. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. And the move to the pen pays off as he's able to come in and shut the door. So they pick up no run on two hits, no errors, and three men left stranded. Bottom part of the order, seven, eight, and nine, due up in the bottom of inning number nine. Reds lead this one 13 to five. John Baker will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Here's the first pitch to him. And that misses for ball one. And now a ball lifted into the air out towards center field. Under it is Stubbs, and that's the first out of the inning. Two outs away now from getting a good win on the road here to start out this series. Wes Helms will dig in. He singled his last time around. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. Ow. 
Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. And it's definitely a long season, but these guys are going to need to go back to the drawing board tomorrow. They have looked totally outmatched from the beginning to the end here. Emilio Bonifacio will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. And they start him out with a slider. Good spot, but he doesn't get the call. 1-0. Two and oh. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Two out, nobody on. Oh, and a swing and a miss on that one. And the Marlins find themselves down to their final strike now. Oh, boy, these guys have got to be saying, thank goodness this one's almost over. Just does stay alive as this is fouled back. Swing and a line drive to left. Hermida is there. Makes the catch and the ball game is over. Boy, and the manager cannot ask for much more than this. It is always good to come out and take that series opener on the road. Red's attack tonight was spearheaded offensively by this guy, Joey Votto. Don't put that card in your bicycle spokes. He's our top player of the game. Man, he was a tough out up there in this one. Three hits, including a home run, and without him, this might have been a better game. Just about wrap things up. For Dave Campbell and Eric Harris, I'm Matt Vaskersian saying thanks for joining us here this evening. This has been a presentation of MLB 11 The Show. For more, get out your smartphones and click on over to theshownation.com. The Reds win this one 13-5. A post-game highlight package is next, so until next time, good night.